Hey guys, welcome back to Boost and Bullets. All right, so we're back. Um, today we're going to be trying to get these dents up again. You saw last video. <laughs> you understand how much of a fail that was. And uh, yeah, um, today we're gonna try to do much better. Um, we're just last time we were out in the cold, and I think that had a big thing to do with it. Um, metal is very cold so today we are in the shop got the heater fired up and uh we're gonna try to get the metal warm up uh get it cleaned up good and then uh stick some pads to it and try to yank them that dent out um we will do our best um i don't know how well it's gonna turn out i it was about this big to start off with now there's you know now what's good about here, um, and it's kind of what's kind of got the dent that comes up and around and wraps, and we kind of got the dent moved a little bit right here, but then it kind of dips back down in. So it's kind of, it's almost like a dent here now where my fingers are. Um, so I'm gonna try to get some more popped out, and then we got a body line right here that I'm gonna try to save. If not, we'll just sand and bond as much as we can to make it look like it's there. Um, I'm not too horribly worried. I just want to make it look decent. You know, I'm going for 2020 here. Um, but we're going to try to pull that dent out as much as we can. And then we're going to, um, cause we're going to fill in some of the uh, holes that I uh, grind down. Depending on it, I ground through some of my weld spots. So I'll just drop some more tacks on there. Try to grind those smooth again without going back through. And then we'll, uh, we'll slap some Bondo on it. And then we'll get the whole bed sanded down. Um, yay far from uh, just doing a quick final job and saying, book it. I'm gonna just go uh, totally uh, caveman on this and <laughs> weld the freaking bolt right to it and use the bolt for the puller because I'm either ripped the side of the bat out or I'm gonna fix the fucking dent. Either way, it's getting done. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to make this perfect, mind you. I'm just trying to make it so I'm not packing a pound of bondo in this thing before I paint it. So, here we go. All right, guys. Well, I never claimed to be a body man. I never will be. Um, I ended up using some bolts and my puller, and I got some of it pulled out. Um, it's not perfect, but it's. See this, but it is better than it was. Um, yeah, so guys, she's not pretty, been planning it being pretty. So, guys, she's not pretty, been planning it being pretty. I got some other bent out, I mean, it was at least the size of my hand, and at least that deep when it started and it's 
not multiple events. Um, I don't have the ambition or the give or the or the want to make it a perfectly smooth bedside. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it at where it is, and I'm gonna clean it up, sand the entire bed down, um, and then uh, um, and then um, put some bondo on it, make it look nice as or as smooth as I can. And then we're gonna base coat it with some primer and go from there. I'm. It's a bed for a truck I use for work all the time. It's probably gonna get beat up when it's on the truck anyway. So, here's a little bit of bondo. Oh well. Um, yeah. So you body guys, curse me out. You purists, curse me out. Whatever. It's. If I was doing a show truck, I would care. I would probably pay somebody to do it. But I got a quick estimate on what it would cost to just do this single dent to get it out and um, put the primer so that way I can paint it. And guy threw 500 bucks at me. I got this bed free and currently have roughly about just under 200 bucks in it. So.
Oh, yes. Oh, look. That's all done. Oh, we definitely got a hair, but... Look at that. Let me see why I'm going to blast you. I'm trying to blast it. 